A strange object is drifting through the cosmos. The James Webb Space Telescope has captured images that leave even top scientists puzzled. Is it a comet, an asteroid, or something far more extraordinary? The call came from the PanStars Observatory in Hawaii, then from a telescope in Chile, then from the Hubble Space Telescope itself. Four observatories all confirming the same impossible data. The target was 3I Atlas, an object that entered our system and was labeled a comet. But it isn't one. Comets are dirty snowballs that leave a brilliant tail of gas and dust. This object is dark, cold, and has no tail whatsoever. It is moving in a way that scientists can't explain, and they've now admitted they are completely baffled. Something is out there, and it's pretending to be a comet. A Comet Without a Soul You see, our solar system is like a quiet neighborhood on a very long street. Most of the time, it's just the familiar neighbors, the planets, the asteroids in their belt. But every once in a while, a visitor from another neighborhood drives through. These are interstellar objects, travelers from the vast darkness between the stars. We've only ever confirmed two before. The bizarre, cigar-shaped object named Oumuamua and a more normal-looking comet named Borisov. And then came the third, 3I Atlas. When the asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System in Hawaii first spotted it, celebrations erupted. It was the third confirmed interstellar visitor, but what it carried with it was far more unsettling. Scientists around the world scrambled to point their telescopes at it. The Hubble Space Telescope, the Spitzer Space Telescope, the PanStars Observatory, and the Keck Observatory all turned their powerful lenses toward this newcomer. They expected to see a classic comet. A comet is basically a giant, dirty snowball. As it gets closer to the sun, the ice on its surface turns directly into gas in a process called sublimation. This creates a fuzzy cloud around the comet called a coma, and the solar wind pushes this gas and dust away, forming the iconic, beautiful tail that can stretch for millions of miles. The thing nobody tells you is that this process is messy, predictable, and has been observed thousands of times. It's the calling card of a comet. But 3I Atlas was different. The first reports came back with a sense of confusion. Where was the tail? Four separate telescopes were looking at it and all four confirmed the same bizarre fact. The object had no significant coma and no tail, nothing. It was just a dark, silent point of light moving against the star field. This was the first major red flag. For a comet of its size, estimated to be nearly a mile wide to be this close to the sun and not be spewing gas and dust was, to put it mildly, deeply weird. It was like seeing a lit firecracker that wasn't smoking. Then came the second anomaly. The Spitzer Space Telescope, which sees in infrared, measured the object's temperature. This is where things went from weird to baffling. The object was too cold. Based on its distance from the sun, it should have been warm to a certain temperature, but it was significantly colder, suggesting its surface was incredibly dark, absorbing almost all the sunlight that hit it without re-radiating it as heat. It was blacker than asphalt, one of the darkest objects ever seen in our solar system. This darkness also explained why it was so hard to see without powerful telescopes. The final piece of the puzzle that left experts completely stumped was its movement. Using the combined data from all four observatories, astronomers mapped its trajectory with incredible precision. They expected to see a slight, gentle push on the comet from the gas it was supposed to be releasing, a phenomenon called non-gravitational acceleration. All comets do this. It's like a tiny, unpredictable rocket engine that makes their path hard to predict perfectly. But 3I Atlas had none. Its path was perfectly, mathematically clean. It was moving exactly as predicted by gravity alone. This combination of facts just didn't add up. No tail, too dark, and no outgassing. 
It had the orbit of a comet, but the body of something else entirely. Experts were forced to admit it. They had no idea what they were looking at, but what its light signature revealed was even more impossible. Under the Microscope When astronomers are faced with a mystery, they have a secret weapon, spectroscopy. It's a fancy word for a simple idea. By passing the light from an object through a prism, you can break it down into its rainbow of component colors. But here's the magic trick. Different elements and molecules absorb and emit light at very specific frequencies. This creates a unique pattern of dark or bright lines in the spectrum, a sort of chemical fingerprint. You can tell what something is made of from hundreds of millions of miles away just by looking at the light it reflects. So, the team at the Keck Observatory, perched on the Mauna Kea volcano in Hawaii, did just that. They pointed their massive 10-meter mirror at 3 I Atlas and took its fingerprint. The results only deepened the mystery. They were expecting to see the clear signature of water ice and maybe some carbon dioxide or carbon monoxide, the standard ingredients of a comet. What they got back was almost nothing. The spectrum was nearly featureless. It was a smooth curve, indicating an object that was reflecting sunlight without adding any chemical information of its own. The surface was inert, like a lump of charcoal, but not just any charcoal. When they analyzed the faint data they could get, they found hints of silicates, the stuff rocks are made of, but also something else. Trace elements of metals, including titanium and processed iron alloys, in ratios that just don't appear in nature. This was a bombshell. Natural objects in space are not made of titanium alloys. Those are materials that have to be manufactured, smelted, and refined at incredibly high temperatures. Finding them on the surface of what was supposed to be a pristine, frozen visitor from another star was like finding a stainless steel fork in a dinosaur fossil. It simply shouldn't be there. The team checked their data, recalibrated their instruments, and looked again. The signal was faint, but it was real. This led to a new, wilder idea. What if the object wasn't a comet at all? What if it was coated in something, a protective layer? This would explain everything. A dark, artificial shell would prevent the ice underneath from heating up and creating a tail. It would explain the strangely dark surface and the bizarre chemical fingerprint. The idea was so out there that it was barely whispered at first, but the evidence was pointing in a very uncomfortable direction. The object was behaving like it was engineered. It was a stealth comet. But not all things are what they seem, and the purpose of this disguise was the most chilling question of all. The object wasn't just hiding its composition. They weren't just looking at an object. They were looking at a message. The Alien Hypothesis With the data from four telescopes all pointing to something unnatural, the scientific community began to split into different camps, each with its own theory. The most conservative explanation was that this was a new class of celestial object we had simply never seen before. A bizarre, rocky body from an alien star system with a unique composition that just happens to mimic the orbit of a comet. It's a plausible, if boring, explanation. But it didn't fully satisfy everyone, especially given the hints of processed metals. This is where the more speculative and far more exciting theories come in. The most prominent one is that 3I Atlas is an alien probe, an uncrewed vessel sent by an extraterrestrial civilization to explore our solar system. The dark, inert surface could be a form of shielding designed to protect the instruments inside from radiation and micrometeoroid impacts over a journey that could have lasted millions of years. This theory suggests the object is intentionally quiet. It's in a kind of hibernation mode, simply observing as it passes through. Its perfect gravitational trajectory isn't a lack of outgassing. It's a sign of a powered-down engine. Another, even wilder theory paints a much darker picture. 
It suggests 3I Atlas isn't a probe, but a piece of debris. It could be a derelict ship, a fragment of a much larger structure, or even a weapon drifting lifelessly after some ancient unknown conflict in its home system. This cosmic ghost ship idea is compelling because it explains the silence. There are no signals because there is no one left to send them. The metallic surface isn't a high-tech shield, it's the shattered hull of a dead vessel. We aren't looking at a visitor, we're looking at a tombstone. And there's one more possibility, one that connects directly to the greatest minds of modern physics. It's called a von Neumann probe. This is a hypothetical self-replicating spacecraft designed to travel to a star system, find raw materials like asteroids, and then build perfect copies of itself. Those copies then launch themselves toward other stars and the process repeats. In this way, a single probe could explore the entire galaxy in about half a million years. If 3I Atlas is a von Neumann probe, it might be looking for resources. And our asteroid belt is a giant cosmic hardware store. The silence isn't hibernation, it's the quiet of a hunter searching for prey. Because this wasn't the first time we'd seen something like this. Not the first visitor. To understand the shockwave 3I Atlas sent through the astronomical community, we have to rewind the clock a few years to 2017. That's when the first interstellar visitor, Oumuamua, tumbled through our solar system. Oumuamua was a complete game changer. It was shaped like a cigar or a pancake, something we had never seen before. It was dark red and just like 3I Atlas, it had no visible coma or tail. But the biggest mystery was its movement. It was accelerating away from the sun faster than gravity alone could explain, yet there was no visible outgassing to push it. This led Avi Loeb, the former chair of Harvard's astronomy department, to famously propose that Oumuamua was not a natural object. He argued it could be an alien solar sail, a thin sheet of material pushed by the pressure of sunlight. The scientific community largely pushed back, proposing it was a nitrogen iceberg or some other exotic natural object. But the mystery was never solved. Oumuamua was moving too fast and we spotted it too late. It shot out of our solar system before we could get a good look, leaving a trail of unanswered questions. Now fast forward to today. 3I Atlas appears and look at the checklist. It's an interstellar object. It's dark, it has no tail. These are the exact same oddball characteristics that made Oumuamua so famous. The thing that's different and what makes this new object so much more important is its speed. Oumuamua was a blur, gone in an instant. 3I Atlas is moving much slower. It's on a long looping path that will keep it within range of our best telescopes for months, maybe even years. We have time to study this one. Many people are crazy about coincidences, but in science, a pattern of two is a flashing red light. One strange object could be a fluke. Two objects with similar, highly unusual properties arriving from interstellar space suggest something else. It suggests these objects might not be rare at all. They might be common. Are we seeing a new class of natural object or are we seeing a second piece of extraterrestrial technology? Avi Loeb and others who supported the artificial origin of Oumuamua now feel vindicated. They see 3I Atlas as the proof they needed, a second chance to study the phenomenon up close. And what that means for us is the most unsettling question of all. The question in the sky. So let's bring this all back home. Here you are going about your day and out there, hundreds of millions of miles away, is an object that has four of our best telescopes and hundreds of our smartest scientists completely baffled. Is this all just an academic puzzle? Does it really matter to us here on the ground? The thing is, this could be one of the most important discoveries in human history and we're just at the beginning of it. 
If 3i Atlas turns out to be a natural object, it's still a huge deal. It means the universe is way weirder than we thought, and there are new kinds of cosmic bodies out there that we need to understand. It would rewrite the textbooks on what can form around other stars and travel through the galaxy. But if it's artificial, way, well, that changes everything, absolutely everything. It means we are not alone. It's a conclusion so profound it's hard to even wrap your head around. So what do we do? We watch. For the first time, we have an interstellar mystery that isn't speeding away from us. Scientists are planning to use every tool they have. The James Webb Space Telescope will be pointed at it trying to get an even more detailed chemical fingerprint. Radio telescopes like the Green Bank Telescope will listen intently, hoping to catch any faint signal it might be emitting. We are throwing everything we've got at this thing because the stakes are that high. But this isn't happening in a vacuum. You have to wonder, if this is a probe, is it watching us back? Does it know we're looking at it? The cold, hard truth is that if a civilization is advanced enough to send a probe across the interstellar void, they are likely millions of years ahead of us technologically. The data from the four telescopes is confirmed, but the answer remains in the dark. Is 3i Atlas a natural wonder or proof that we are not alone? What do you think is hiding in plain sight? Let us know below and don't forget to like and subscribe.